Welcome to another episode of the Daily Phone Driver and we are here to test the vlogging capabilities of this entry-level Oppo A5s with 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage. Now I'm gonna test the rear camera of this phone for vlogging with a dual camera setup. 13 MP main camera with f2.2 aperture plus the 2 MP for the depth sensor. It can shoot videos up to 1080p with 30 frames per second. We're not gonna test here the 8 MP front facing camera for vlogging since theoretically the rear camera has a superior sensor between the two. Now I'm gonna go to a mall with my son and shoot some videos with him similar to vlogging and let's see how it goes. Check it out. Up ka na doon. Up na, up. Oh, up na. Oh, go upstairs. Doon, doon. Go up, go upstairs. No, no, no. Yeah, no more. No. Magalit kuya. Puta mo si mama. Puta mama. Go to mama. Liam, no, no. That's not yours. Thank you. 
So based from my test, here are the pros and cons in using the Oppo A5s for vlogging. For the pros, colors are accurate, no color editing done before I posted this video. For 6,990 pesos, it gets the job done in capturing videos at 1080p, 30 frames per second. Good for social media or simply for taking videos. Stabilization is just fair for the price. You don't expect much for this price point if you will use it for vlogging. Then it has enough 32 gig storage for videos and has a 4230 mAh battery that can last in taking videos. For the cons, audio capture is a bit on the weak side. I had to amp or increase the volume when I edited this video before posting to YouTube. Next, placement of the speaker grill can obstruct audio capture when doing handheld videos. There were times the videos I recorded have no audio. So be sure to be careful not to block the speakers when doing handheld videos. Better use a monopod, selfie stick, or a mini tripod when capturing videos. If you require clearer and stable videos, then I suggest you get a higher spec phone, probably mid-range and up, if you want quality videos for vlogging. On my case, I use a Huawei P30 Pro in making my vlogs. You can click the link above of my sample vlog using the P30 Pro. So what's the verdict on this phone? Should you buy it, shortlist it, consider it, or forget about it? I suggest you shortlist it first especially if you have no choice because you are on a tight budget in purchasing your first mobile phone for vlogging. Thanks for watching. If you liked the vid, give a thumbs up on this video. And if you found this video helpful, kindly support the channel by subscribing. Daily Phone Driver signing out.